What's going on everyone? Welcome back. In today's quick sensor tutorial, I'll be showing you how to connect the DHT22 temperature and humidity sensor with the Raspberry Pi Pico or Pico W and we'll be setting it up in the MicroPython environment in just a few steps. So in order to get started, we are not going to waste any time here. You simply want to have the, the Pico or the Pico W in the DHT22 and you want to have a set of jumper wires. You need at least three jumper wires to connect this version of the DHT22 to the Raspberry Pi Pico or Pico W. Also note that although we are using the three pin version, there is also a four pin version. However, on that fourth pin, you typically don't have to use that and you only have to use three pins. So you can mimic everything you are following in this tutorial, even if you have the four pin version of the DHT22. So let's go ahead and make the respective connections as you can see here. You can see uh, power and ground and red and black there respectively. Make sure not to mix those up because that can lead to problems in your circuits. And third, we have this data output connected to GP2 on the Raspberry Pi Pico. And that's pretty much all you need in terms of the physical connection. And a lot of the times these sensors do come with jumper wires. So you're in luck if you already have one with jumper wires. Other than that, you can just go buy a set. It's a really important thing to have, especially if you are doing a lot of DIY projects in this space. So make sure you power it in. And once you have it powered in, we are just going to jump to the MicroPython environment in Thani. And as a prerequisite for this video, I'm just going to assume you already have a MicroPython environment set up in Thani. Really, you can use any IDE you want, but this environment is probably the most popular for programming on the Raspberry Pi Pico or Pico W in MicroPython. And so once you are in Thani, the first thing you simply want to do is you want to go to the tools on the top there and you want to go to manage packages. We just want to install the DHT package. So you can search DHT and click it. So I already have it installed and you can see there's an upgrade there. It's grayed out, but just go ahead and install that. It should be quick. And what's nice about this DHT package is that it allows you to work with the DHT 11 and the DHT 22. So if you have a DHT 11, you can also use this package. And finally, once you have that installed, we could just create a Python script here. I already created one. And the script we have today is just dht22.py. So this is just a script I created. And you could just go ahead and copy everything in a script. It's a very simple library to use. So typically what we have is we're just importing that library and some other libraries. Uh, we're using machine to actually connect to that specific pin and the DHT library to make a DHT object. And we're using time to manage some time with, between the loops in our while loop in MicroPython. And as you can see right here, I just connected that pin with that machine library and I set up a DHT22 object with the library in that pin. And here I just loop forever in this while loop and I just read sensor measurements using that library. So we have this method dot measure on the DHT sensor object. And with the sensor, we can measure temperature and humidity. And luckily we can measure it pretty accurately, which is cool. And after we get those values, we just do some simple formatting, as you could see here with temperature and humidity, and we just print them out. Otherwise, we print an exception. And we have this time interval here. You, you can play, play with this. I just made it 0.1 second, but really you can do the data measurements as frequently or as infrequently as you like. And we're just going to go ahead and run the script. So if you have everything properly set up, you should be able to run this. So just go ahead and click run. And just to show that it's working, if you do blow on the sensor, it will increase the humidity. So I'm just going to blow on my DHT22. And you can see that the humidity is increasing. So that's just a good sanity check to show your sensor is working. So I hope you enjoyed the sensor tutorial. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching and take it easy.